Thank you for the most generous introduction. Let us probably be in the most generous introduction I have received today. Hi, Dr. Charlotte Chong, our uh, the Dean of the UP College of Medicine, Dr. Dr. Gaspi, uh, PGH Director, um, former Department Chairs, Dr. Ronisi, and our birthday celebrant, Dr. Agnes Mitia, Executive Committee of the Department of Medicine, the Division and Section Chiefs, Training Officers, Graduating Residents and Fellows, and a special mention to my Dr. John. Dr. John and Leonel, and you know, he's the chairman of the department. And I reminded him that 20 years ago, um, he took care of my dad. Then my dad um, underwent bypass surgery at the UP, and at the PGH. He did not know any Dr. John, but our family will for, forever be grateful. Yours is a class that up until a certain point in 2020, was concerned with the many challenges that came with being medical students, residents, and fellows. Challenges that perhaps were primarily academic or even sometimes financial in nature. <laughs> Like how to pay for your med school when you were, were still not doctors, the long nights and the years you spent studying and training, or the high standards you have to meet at every step of the way. Then the pandemic happened. As nations went into lockdowns and millions flocked to hospitals that were overcrowded, under equipped, and most relevant to you, strained in terms of manpower. You were thrown into the thick of what must have seemed like a fight for survival, with little warning and no transition. Suddenly, you had to spend some of the most formative year, years of your professional life in the trenches of a national emergency. You needed to learn a lot and learn fast. You had to constantly adjust and readjust as you bore the brunt of an overwhelmed healthcare system. You perhaps lost some of your colleagues in the medical profession. You made painful compromises. You faced fear and loss and grief in ways the rest of us could hardly imagine, let alone put to words. The pandemic threw you ahead of schedule into a profession that is definitely grueling and thankless. Work which requires you to put your own lives on the line just so you can keep the rest of us safe and healthy. In this process, I can imagine how the most important aspect of your field also became the most pronounced. But in the unresponsibility of the land of God, how about ninyo ang buhay ng kapwa tao? Saksi ako kung paano ninyo pinanindigan ang katotohanan nito. Natunghaya nito namin dati sa Office of the Vice President kung paano nagpagong-pagong ang responsibilidad ng PGH bilang paro namin pang publikong ospital at bilang pinakamalating COVID-19 referral center. Between the overflowing emergency rooms, ICUs, and COVID wards, the heightened risks of exposure due to the shortage of PPEs and the sudden lockdown restrictions, the PGH inevitably required all hands on deck. And as junior physicians, you were called to task. So to the residents and fellows whose graduation we celebrate today, maraming salamat sa inyo for staying true to the spirit of para sa bayan. You will go down in history for having completed this rigorous program under a backdrop of what has undoubtedly been the greatest health crisis of our lifetime. And when you were called upon to serve as medical frontliners, you responded with the honor, excellence, and service that defines UPPJH doctors. Pinili niyong magbalasakit 
makiramay, at makibigit sa mga dalani ng pasyente ninyo. You gave nothing less than your very best in caring for other people and in carrying out your own sworn oath to heal and help the sick to the best of your ability and judgment. Although we have survived the worst of it, we also know that the work is far from over. Well, PGH gave you what may well be the best medical training in the country. It also exposed you to the inadequacies and harsh realities of our healthcare system, which were highlighted and exacerbated by the pandemic. Things like lack of beds and equipment or the lack of medicine, the lack of access to services, especially among the farthest areas of our country even the lack of human resources. You have seen for yourselves how imperative it is that we continue to look into and implement the best practices in medicine, how we must strive harder in reshaping our systems so that it is more responsive, inclusive, and sustainable. Sometimes it could be tempting to turn into a blind eye. It would be easier to look back on all you have gone through, call it a day, and simply let others do what remains to be done. And yet, you're still here, celebrating this moment, stealing yourselves once more as you prepare, prepare to roll up your sleeves and get back to work. Ang tema nga ng pagdiriwang natin ngayong araw, paglao. It is a Visayan word. Ang bitol nito paglao. With an O, that will be, which means pag-asa, to look towards the horizon with faith that things will get better, and to march towards it with a resolve to make things better through your own hard work. As doctors, hope is crucial in your line of work. It is not something you take lightly or for granted. You place a great deal of care. In ensuring you state facts as they are, knowing the repercussions of raising hope where there is none to be had. Because in order for hope to be viable, it must first and foremost be actionable. We celebrate your graduation, not only because it was born of the hope you held onto during the most difficult parts of your residency and fellowship. But because it is proof that hope prevails and shines brightest when we act on its promise of better times ahead. The coming days and years will have its own set of challenges for you. There will be illnesses you cannot cure, patients you cannot save, systemic problems and injustices you will find difficult to correct. There will be days when it might feel easier to choose indifference instead of compassion. There will be moments of both deep exhaustion, of anger and frustration. When that happens, remember to look back on today's celebration and how so many of you look up the mantle, up the mantle of service during a time of great need. Remember how you were able to pull through, how you were forged in the fires of crisis and found ways. You did this by focusing on the step in front of you, the next breath, the next shift, the next life to save. So as you move along in your careers, continue to learn all you can and take everything in, the missteps and failures, the little victories and best practices. Find certainty in the smallest of tasks, honing your craft, mentoring others, lending a helping hand. Take heart in the knowledge that you are not in this alone. And always remain anchored on hope that inspires action and gives you the courage to serve where you are needed most. So, Mule, Marami Salamat sa Usai, sa Ibai. At sa maraming sakripisyo na inialan niyo. Congratulations sa inyong pagkatapos. I look forward to seeing all of you accomplish everything in the years to come. Pagbukay kayo na.